The moon appears larger in the sky than it normally would. Um, the reason for that is the moon's orbit around the Earth is not a perfect circle. It's slightly elongated, slightly egg-shaped. So it means that at some times it is possible that the moon is a little bit closer to us and it happens to be a full moon, then you get this extra special spectacle in the sky, if you like, which is uh, a supermoon. Those countries where the moon is already rising at the horizon and it's fairly dark are, are the best ones to, to in the best place to catch the moon in that sense. Um, so I think it rather depends entirely on where you are located in that sense. The the super moon is most beautiful when it's compared to something on the horizon because the eye can figure that out a little bit better. You know, when we look at the moon in the night sky, there's nothing to compare it to in terms of its size. But when you see it on the horizon next to some trees or some buildings or some iconic structure like the Eiffel Tower or something, then you, you see that you can really sort of, the mind plays this interesting game. It's kind of an illusion almost that, wow, look at the size of the moon. But you need that comparison. So quite often the most spectacular images you'll see probably tomorrow will be from those who are lucky enough to catch a reasonably bright moon against a dark sky on a horizon. Essentially, the phase is full tonight. It's full. It's really full tonight. And tonight, the moon will pass in front of the Seven Sisters cluster of stars, the Pleiades. And I think that's a beautiful time. It's a really, really beautiful time to catch it tonight, actually. I mean, I, I think catching the moon, moving in front of the Pleiades later on tonight, for those of you for that, who are still relevant, is a beautiful, beautiful moment. I, 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 I think I'm sure we're going to see some spectacular examples of that.